All right, so uh, I got a geek challenge from this Dave Hamilton guy. It's true. Imagine that. Um, so the challenge was, so we're, we're, we're kicking the tires on a new platform now called StreamYard, yep. just uh, to give us options and give you options. But you were like, how do I get an iPhone to send its content to a window? Or, or just how do I get iPhone content on the screen integrated with our video broadcast? And I'm like, that's a really great question. Great. <laughs> great it was question. great. Yeah. Elmer, Elmer Fudd great. loves it. Elmer, Elmer Fudd. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I did a bit of uh, Google Foo when I found uh, something on Tech Insider or Business Insider. Um, and there are two ways to do this, Dave. One is new, and I'll mention it, but it won't work for us. But I'll mention it because it's new, and I like to talk about new things. But so if you now in Maverick. Uh, Maver Monterey. Or Monterey, sorry. Yep. Um, go to sharing. There's a new item that I had not seen before because it never was there before, and it's called AirPlay Receiver. So if you activate that on your Mac, and then you take, for example, your iPhone, and you go to screen sharing on, in the uh, control center, your Mac shows up as a destination. The problem is it's all-encompassing in that it takes up the whole screen, and that's not what we want. Oh, interesting. Right. No, that's Yeah, I not tried it. I even tried it on my Mac Mini. And when it mirrored, I then got a, a little selector in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. And it's like, do you want to put this on the screen or that screen? So it's smart enough to know that. But the thing is, you have no other control. Got or at least it. I haven't figured out how to do it. Okay. Yeah. And then it's, it's pretty much, you know, if you want to watch a video, for example, on your iPhone and do it on your fancy yeah. uh, big screen, then that works. But for our just, just like you would Dave, with an Apple TV, I got it. Yes. Okay, yeah. But you're right with with what I would like to do with with Streamyard here. I I need it in a window. Yeah, exactly. And so here's the other, and you know you'll see the article. Um, here's a trick that I think has been in Mac OS and iOS for a while, but I've I've never really used it. I never had need until now, but now we have a need. And the thing is, if you take your phone and plug it into your Mac, and then you run QuickTime Player. Yes, QuickTime Player. In a nutshell, you say, do a new recording, and then you'll get a pull-down menu showing the potential sources. Well, hey, guess what? If you plug your iPhone in, that's one of them. Yep. And it works perfectly. It's amazing. Um, yeah. So at some point, I'm sure one of us is going to go off on an iPhone thing. Maybe you will in this episode, Dave. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> And you can, with most of the uh, screen sharing apps that we have, uh, they give you a choice to display uh, another window. So, so there you go. That's great, perfect. Yeah, no, and, and we've we've shared that tip on the show in the past. I, mm -hmm. I, I, it just did not dawn on me, which is why I sent out the geek challenge to you. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it worked out. It's good stuff. 